everyone welcome back to my channel so today I've got a very exciting video I have done multiple looks with these two palettes they are from Menagerie and I picked them up very recently and I haven't been able to uh, stop using them I've actually massively neglected all of my other eyeshadows and other projects and my shot my stash um, because I wanted to do this video and I wanted to do several looks for each palette so I've got the feral palette and I've also got the killer purr palette but yeah, this is a video with all of the looks that I've done so far with these two palettes. We'll do a little voiceover for each look and then we'll come back and I'll go through my final thoughts on them. Hi everyone, so I'm going to go in with Pride. This is sort of that murky brown shade. And then I go in with Balbob. I think it's called Balbob. I really like blending these two together. They were just more like a grungy pair. And then the next one is Draught, and this was such a beautiful shimmer, probably the nicest shimmer in this palette. You can see how gorgeous it is. It's got the blue, it's got the green, um, and it's just, I, I thought it tied really nicely with those other two. <laughs> you can see my look. Um, and then I went in with Main, which I thought would be a nice inner corner. It, I think it's a nice inner corner. Um, and then I wanted to try Prowl, which kind of blended in to drought, didn't look too different. I really like the end result of this look, um, but yeah. Okay, moving on to Chase. This was a peachy color. I actually didn't expect it to be as vibrant as it was. I was pleasantly surprised. And then we went in with Antelope. I love all these shades. I mean, obviously it's like a safari, right? So they've got really nice shade names um, and yeah this one was again a lot warmer tone than I expected and then we went into Mighty Raw so Mighty Raw I had some issues with I did start with this brush which is probably why but I ended up blending this for a really long time and then I picked this fluffy brush um, and again I was really trying to blend it out and it just got so harsh at the corners there, I really hated it. Um, I went back in with Main, which I used in the previous look just to see what it looked like on, all over the lid. Um, it's quite a sheer formula compared to the other two uh, shimmers that I'd already tried in the previous look. Um, it does have a beautiful shade to it but it's not super opaque. Um, and I wish it was a little bit more opaque, but yeah, oh gosh, it looks so awful up close. Um, anyway, moving on. All right, moving on, we have Cub, which is very vibrant. It's almost like an orangey yellow. I mean, I don't know, it might just be my video quality as well is, is a little bit uh, warm tone at the moment. Then I went into Hunt. And I wanted to do a very nice warm look. I really actually enjoyed this look now that I'm recalling it. Um, I was going to be outside for a bit as well so I just wanted to do a really nice warm vibrant fiery red look and I hadn't tried Lioness so this is sort of a gold bronzy shimmer. This one doesn't have much of a flip. The only flip to it is a little bit of a green but you can't really see that on my lids. Um, but I really enjoyed how this looked. It was just um, your kind of classy orange look um, and I kept it pretty easy and neutral, so. Okay, moving on to the ferrule, I tried Canis Lupus. You could see all the, um, the kick up on that shade flying away. <laughs> and then I went into Wisteria. This was quite a pretty pink. It was like a peachy pink, um, but I quite enjoyed how this blended. I thought it looked quite nice on the lids. Then we went into Pack Leader, which really reminded me of a Huda Beauty shade from their Naughty Nude palette. I can't recall what the shade is, but it's just a beautiful, sort of vibrant reddish pink. Um, that I thought was quite pretty and then I wanted to try Wolfling and I put it side by side next to this one and it was quite hard to distinguish the two there wasn't too much to say about it um, it does have a flip but I'll talk about it later on um, I thought I needed to deepen up the look so I went into Alpha and I quite like this just to deepen out the outer 
corner and I did end up going over that second shade quite a bit. Went back into Wolf Link, so I wanted to bring it back and I thought well, maybe I'll do it as an inner corner, see if it does anything. I don't think it works well as an inner corner, I have to say, but I think the end look was quite pretty, very simple, but you know, I like to do simple looks, so it worked out fine for me. All right, next up we went into Night Eyes, which is this yellow. It's a very um, orangey yellow, I would say. Uh, this look was a nice warm look, kind of similar to the last palette. That my, you know, I wanted to do a nice warm look, sunsetty look. And in this palette, they have a yellow and a red, so I kind of wanted to pair them together. This did come across very orangey yellow, which I don't mind. Um, it did have sort of that sun vibrant look that I wanted, if that makes sense. Does it make sense? I'm not sure. Now we've got Mariposa, which is the red, and this ended up being a very beautiful orange when I laid it on top of Night Eyes. Um, I'm wondering what it would look like just on its own, but it ended up looking like a really beautiful sunset, um, you know, orangey yellow look, which I quite enjoy. And then I went back into Night Eyes just to blend it a little bit, the outer. But yeah, I quite like this. Okay, moving into Wolfling again. This is just one, it's like the other palette. It was just a shade that I wasn't sure about, so I wanted to keep using it. I used it all over the lid just to see um, if I could see that flip, because it has a flip of orange, but it's quite subtle. And I think with this look, it worked out perfectly because you've got the pink, but then when it did flip to that brassy orange, we had the orange undertone of the mattes anyway. And then underneath, I kind of just did the same thing. I went into the red and then I went into the yellow, um, same as I did above, obviously just a different order. And I went into Wolfling again. Um, so yeah, a pretty simple look, but I kind of enjoyed it. It was quite a fiery look and popped on my orange lipstick just to pair it off quite nicely. Um, okay, and then we've got this one. So this is Fenris and it is a really nice green. I really like this. It's, it's a very um, woodsy green, I would say, um, which I really enjoy. And I kept this sim this look very simple. I mean, this is the look you see at the, the beginning of the video. So it's a simple look, but I really enjoyed it. And I wanted to see what it would be like to have the other green next to it. The other green is a little bit deeper. So I just put that in my uh, Alta V. I don't feel like you need both of these greens to be fair, but you know, we have them, so I wanted to see what they would look like side by side. I think they ended up looking pretty nice. And then I wanted to try the Harmonia, so I put that on the rest of the lid towards the center and inner part, just to tie it in nicely. Um, I kind of lost that first shade a little bit, but I wanted to try everything. And then we go into her Shara. And this is gorgeous. Oh my word, such a beautiful shade. I barely put my finger on it too, and I got so much pigment. It was just <laughs> so beautiful. I wish every every shade in every palette was like this. It was just stunning. But again, very simple look. I don't do you know massively crazy looks, but I really like this look. I think it's nice. All right, there you have it. As you can see, I actually have the ferrule on today, and this is the last look that I've done. Um, so, what do you guys think? I personally am so pleased with these palettes. I find them to be so enjoyable, so easy to work on. Let's start with the Killer Pub. Um, I'm not a fan of all the looks I did. I was playing around, seeing what I could do, and in terms of color story, this one is a little bit, unique I, I would say because there's a lot of when you look at this the colors aren't really placed together in a way that makes sense to build a look so you have to be a little bit creative there's also some really gorgeous duochromes in here in terms of the shimmers and then you just you're not entirely sure what it's gonna look like on the lids um, I would say 
all of the shades performed absolutely amazingly well, aside from this one, which is called Mighty Raw. I did have issues with this one, just blending it out um, when I did that sort of pinky tone look. I, I, that was the only one where I was, I was kind of regretting my choice. Um, I know the look turned out decent at the end, but that was the, the only look out of the two palettes where I actually really struggled to blend a matte. All of the other mattes are super, super blendable, I would say, very easy to use. There is a lot of kick up, which I wasn't expecting, but I think that's why they're so easy to blend because they're quite powdery. Um, I don't, I wouldn't say they're powdery in a bad way. I just, I wasn't expecting it. So I would definitely say in terms of this palette, I really enjoyed pairing the green with the pink. I do have to say that this pink down here is is does have a flip to it, but I don't think the flip is super strong compared to these other shades up here. Um, and I, I did I did use this a couple times because I, I just wasn't sure how to use it. It's got like a peachy flip to it with a little bit of orange. I don't know if it's going to come across on camera, but it's just not the, um, like a true pink. And what I will say about both of these palettes, I'll talk about the Feral in a minute, but this kind of relates to both of them. I kind of wish that they had some sort of lighter inner corner shade. And this is not uh, light enough really to show up as an inner corner. It just doesn't have that beautiful pop. Otherwise, I really enjoyed this palette. All right, moving on to the Feral. I feel like I did really easy looks with this one. I would say in terms of color story, I'm less inspired by this one. Just having the two in front of me, for some reason, I was very inspired with this one. This one, even though it looks a little bit more cohesive because you've got all the greens, you've got more warm tones here, and then you've got these pinks, it, I do actually find it a little bit trickier just looking at it in terms of what looks I'm going to do. So absolutely the first one, I had to go into the pinks. Um, I will say these two are obviously very different um, shimmers. They don't look that different on camera, and in my first look, they didn't look that different at all. This is a very strange, strange, I wouldn't say strange, I mean, it, it, it's a duochrome. So it has a flip. It's a little bit similar to the, the shade in the other palette, except it's got more of like a bronzy flip. It's pink with like a bronzy orange undertone, like a rusty orange undertone. It is actually really beautiful, but when I paired it together with this one, um, unless you were really looking closely, it was very hard to spot on camera where that flip was. And that's why I went in and I uh, deepened out the look. Um, just like in my outer corner, just to give it some dimension. But otherwise, I, I do enjoy this palette. I would just say that the Killer Purse probably um, ahead of this one and just in terms of color story I think I just get a little bit more inspired but these shades are beautiful I didn't have any issues with any of these shades in terms of blending or using them at all um, they're just such a pleasure to use and this last look I think is probably one of my favorites but it's very simple but I just love this like all over green look with the shimmer it was absolutely stunning and the best way to end the video I think I did like my sunset look but it wasn't it's not like my favorite type of look to make um, however, I was going to be out in the sun that day, so I thought, well, what better way than to just have some sort of vibrant, sunsetty look when I'm out in the sun. So that's kind of what I was thinking. So like I said on the other palette, if this had it an inner corner, I would just be so happy with it. I think they could have gone and not had this shade in here or get rid of one of these green shades because they're, I mean, they're different, but they're also very similar <laughs> when it comes to like putting an eye look together. Um, probably didn't need this ivy one, but I, I would have got rid of this one because I have that shade pretty much in here and I would have just put a beautiful inner corner, light, gorgeous, maybe iridescent type of duo flip shade. I <laughs> Whatever you can think of, I think that would have made this pop and maybe just a yellow, like a yellow vibrant shimmer and that would have just like tied everything together. So that's probably what I would have preferred with this color story. So again, not my favorite, but in terms of actually, you know, using this quality, 
The Menagerie quality is amazing. It's the first time I've tried it. I've heard for many, many years <laughs> that it's so good. Um, and I finally, I finally went and purchased these and I'm so happy that I did. So I'm gonna be a lookout, you know, if they, I, I see what they have available and I don't need to buy any more. So I'm not gonna be buying any more, but if they, you know, in the in the next couple years come out with more palettes and, and releases that really excite me, I'm definitely, they're on my radar now. So, cause I know that the quality is really good. So I don't need to hum and ah about it. I just need to wait for that perfect color story. Um, but yeah, this was the pleasure. I need to start using all of my other eyeshadows. Even my Panda's eyeshadows I haven't touched once. <laughs> And my pan matte palette's been neglected, my project level up's been neglected. I mean, I haven't done that many looks with this, but I also haven't been doing that many makeup looks this month. I just, I just haven't really wanted to. So yeah, I'm massively behind on everything else. But let me know if you've tried Menagerie. And if you haven't, I mean, I hope this video has helped you just deciding if you want to pick these up. I think they're great. And... I don't know what what can I say about the shimmers. They are so soft. They they're they're absolutely stunning. You don't need need to dig in to get any pigment. I can't imagine they'll ever get hard pan. They're just the creamiest, most delicious shades I've ever really used in terms of I don't know the the sheer quality of it. I I, I think it's it's outstanding. And the mattes, aside from that one shade in the Kilopa, which I did struggle with. And, and that just because, because, because of me, and it's an eggplant shade, so it's just a little bit harder. They're just absolutely stunning, and I do think this one is a little bit nicer than this one. But I do like both of them anyway. But yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, then give me a like, and um, hopefully I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, yeah, take care. Bye!